Um, but I mean, yeah. quite clearly, that's why we're here to discuss it. And I, I guess they felt like time was of the essence. And so they, they made a calculated decision and we'll see, see what our commission decides. I, I do agree. There is a breathless urgency and exigency to their request. That's why we're all here today, expending our time and energy on an IRP that didn't need to take place. But let me just get to the solutions, if I may, just very briefly. I know this has gone on for a moment. Uh, the battlefield is littered with the carnage of Georgia Power Company's anti-competitiveness. So last month, I'm sorry, two months ago now in January, a developer of renewable capacity and energy resources filed a petition before this commission saying, quote, at a time when Georgia Power Company acknowledges its urgent need for new generation capacity, this developer urges the commission to remove unlawful barriers blocking the development of 420 megawatts of new, clean, affordable power generation that this developer stands ready to build and operate. There's also the failed negotiations from an acquiring an additional ownership interest in an existing generation asset within the Southern Company footprint. There's also the failed 1,030 megawatts from the 2324 RFP that this commission mandated the company go out and acquire after the 2019 IRP and they failed to do so. I understand changing market conditions. I'm happy to answer questions about that. The battery bonus program, I wanna spend just a tiny moment on that. That is a demand resource option that is implemented in numerous places. You'll hear another expert witness talk about it, but at Hawaii Electric Company, what they do is they pay uh, customers who have solar or would like to put solar in the house to install a battery. And they pay them for that. And then the company can pull on that battery for two hours, a two hour commitment during peak for 10 years. Uh, and that has shaved off 3% of peak load in Hawaii's uh, that, and, and that balancing area. That's a solution that could be implemented right now. The thermostat DR program is a great program and should be expanded far beyond 25,000. Uh, grid enhancing technologies. There are so many solutions on the table that Georgia Power is simply not considering by using one base case with flawed assumptions to come to the conclusions that they were looking for. So in conclusion, Georgia Power Company is gaslighting the public, gaslighting its customers, and gaslighting this commission into thinking that gas-fired power plants are the answer to their failure to see load growth less than two years into the future, which is why we are all here. I'll leave it there and uh, happy to answer any questions you may have.